So as the fan was turned on, the breaker popped. Upon further investigation, as you can see right here, the arcing was right here because this wire here was pushed up into the metal. The electrician had not tried to wrap the wires and protect them from the metal. And over time, this pushed up into here. And as the vibration of the fan, it caused the insulation to break down and deteriorate, thus causing the arc and tripping the breaker. Okay, in case anybody is wondering how to repair this. So first thing you do is you tighten up your wire nuts, make sure the wire connections are tight, doesn't hurt to spin the wires against each other. Then you can start taping them up all the way. Tape them up. I usually tape my wire nuts up as this one here. Go ahead and finish the full tape job. And then what you want to do is stuff them back up in this compartment where they're far enough up in the compartment where they won't be against the edge. Because what happens is when the ceiling fan, that exhaust fan goes back up in the ceiling, it lines up and pushes right up tight against this. Well, what happened is the wire was in between this and the piece of metal that goes up against this for the fan, the exhaust fan. And it was chafing between the two until it finally arced through. All right, this is video number three on how the wires should look after you get them tucked up back up in the corner of your electrical box. And as you can see right here, I've got the wires pushed up. The neutrals are the ones closest to the metal, but they're double taped. And I've got the ground. That's okay to touch like that because it's just the ground. But everything's clear, so when the fan goes back up, it won't be nothing chasing, chafing between it. Okay, in this video, I'm starting to put the fan motor housing back in place. And as you can see right here, you put the two slot, the grooves in the slots, and you slowly push up on the fan, and you get the fan lined up. Electrical connections are exposed now safely. I'll insert the screw here, getting ready to plug it back up and I'll show you the final product. Okay, fan is, assembly is back installed, the screw was tight. I'm about to make the plug in here and power is gonna be applied to show you that the fan will work without popping. All right, the rest of the video coming up is gonna show you how to reinstall your lighting housing. Fan's working and light is working. So the breaker here with the green test button is called an arc fault breaker. So the major difference between an arc fault and compared to a GFCI like you have in your bathroom and you have in your kitchen is the function of the GFCI is to protect people from deadly effects of electrical shock that could occur if parts of appliance or tool become energized due to a ground fault. For example, dropping a hairdryer in the water while you're in the bathroom or knocking something electrical over in your kitchen, falling in water, it will immediately pop the breaker. The function of the arc fault circuit is to protect branch wiring circuits from dangerous arcing faults that could initiate a fire. For example, a loose connection, or like in this case, the black wire was pushed up against the actual metal, and in due time with the vibration of the fan, it caused an arc. As the arc fault breaker did its job, it popped, thus keeping the house from catching fire. So in this case, not only does the arc fault breaker protect the homeowner from just normal, everyday breakdowns in electronics or 
wiring, but it also can protect you from electricians that do not take time and pay attention to detail and properly secure wires, especially when you're talking about a metal housing such as an exhaust fan. It's very important that you insulate, double check before you finish installing as an electrician to ensure that the homeowner is safe.